Well, good morning, everybody, <laughs> and welcome to Life on Board, Amy Joe. And we're continuing the cruise today. We've had a couple of days off while Ian and Carol were in Wales. Yes. And today we're going to carry on. And the first uh, job is to go down through Stenson Lock and head towards the River Trent. And I think we're going to end up at... Swalkstown today, Swalkstown. hopefully. It's only a very short little it's hop. A little short hop, but uh, it's a glorious day. It's already very warm. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I think we need to get moving to cool off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you on the cruise, folks. Catch you later. On leaving Mercia Marina, we carried on our journey heading towards Crick. Over the following three days, we stopped off at Swalkstone, dropped down onto the Trent River Trent, stopping at Shardlow, and then from Shardlow carrying on, and then finally turning onto the River Saw, where we stopped at the Rosen Crown in Zouche. Like we said, today we continue our cruise towards the River Saw and uh, the River Trent is ahead of us. This is Stenson Lock. It's quite a deep lock actually, it's 12 feet deep but it's a double lock. So we're now going to be on uh, double locks for quite a while until we get off the saw I guess. And uh, we're just waiting for a boat coming up and because it's quite a deep lock they're having to take their time because the uh, it can get turbulent in the uh, lock so we're just waiting on that lock and then we can both go in and carry on beautiful day today lovely blue skies and helping us on the lock is carl who's just stood slightly to the left of ian he's a subscriber to our channels and his wife also keeps a blog and their blog is nb emerald worth a look Thanks Carl, <laughs> you're welcome. So there you go folks, this is Stenson lock number six, and we're almost down, we're still dropping. There you go.
Chris and Carol could hear cheers. So there's obviously what we think is a cricket match going on, but we can't see over the hedge. So guess what they're doing to try and see if they can see it. We can't see anything. Now, I didn't film them trying to get up there. <laughs> but do you think it's worth filming them getting down? Getting down is easier. Oh my God. But we're moored up here at Swalkston and we're so glad we stopped early because we're sitting out in the sun here and it is like an oven. I'm hoping that Ian will put the exploits of Carol and Chris up on his <laughs> vlog because they've just been up on Amy Jo's roof and believe you me, it was hilarious. But the heat now is getting so hot that uh, we're glad we're stopped, to be fair. And bless him, even Smudge is seeking out the shade oh, occasionally. We haven't got anything to do about it. Well, yet another lovely sunny morning this morning. Uh, we've just left our mooring at Swalkston. We're now on the water point at the services. Ian's filling up with water. We're going to top up after him. And then just ahead out of sight around the corner is Swalkston Lock, which we're going to go down. Uh, today's destination is planned to be either Sawley, which is at the end, very end of the Trent, or Zoch, or Zoosh, um, which is on the River Saw. It just depends on how we get on with time. So first order of the day is top up the water. through Squawkston Lock and uh, carrying on our way down the river or canal I should say sorry we're not on the river yet uh, it's really quite pretty here reminds me a bit of the Shropshire Union stretch between uh, Iron Lock and um, Stone Lock that area it's really nice Spudge likes it anyway he's quite impressed but he's more laid back about it than we are. <laughs> We're now at Western Lock, which is our second lock of the day. And uh, we've just had to wait while two boats go down the lock. And these are the ground paddles. They're really hard to work. And then the two gate paddles on the lock. It's quite a deep lock. So it takes a long time to fill and apparently it leaks as much as it <laughs> fills. So. Could be a little while here today which is probably why those boats were still here when we turned up you got sunglasses on with, with the sunglasses well excuse the wind noise folks but this is shardlow we've just come down through that lock and we couldn't resist the pub, so we're going to go and sample the owls in the pub. I think this might be pub of the month. It be a pub, but it was originally a warehouse. Yeah. That served the uh, canal. You can just see the big arch there. And uh, boats would have got under there to load and unload at the warehouse. <laughs> Although not much left of the Mersey flat here, this would give you a sort of representation of what it would look like underneath the arch when they were loading the boats. After a very peaceful night in Shardlow here, which is quite delightful, we're off to continue now. Today is uh, first uh, day of uh, rivers. First of all, down onto the River Derwent for a short while, and then through the next lock, back onto Canal, and then down to Sawley, where we then come out onto the River Trent. We take a right hand turn at the River Trent and we follow that along till we come to the River Saw. And hopefully, we can make Zoch or Zoosh. I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced, but uh, I'm going to call it Zoch. So, there you go. Well, we're just passing some cracking moorings. Looks like they've not been put in long. And there was space for us or both. But there was live entertainment on the, in the pub last night. Bloody noisy, excuse my language. Really noisy. Uh, so I'm glad we didn't moor there, that's for sure. Shame, because it would have been a nice spot. Uh 
Well, we needn't have worried about the levels on the uh, River Derwent. <laughs> As you can see, they're quite low. It was uh, an interesting trek onto the boat for Chris too. Uh, you got to jump down now. I think Carol's going to have to get her parachute out, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I won't film it. <laughs> Off to the right here, takes you down to Shardlow Marina, which is a bit of a dead end. So we don't want to go that way. That way is the River Derwent. We don't want to go that way. So, powers of deduction. This must be the River Trent and the way we want to go. <laughs> the weirs are looking pretty uh, calm today. Um, there's water going over the weir, obviously, but uh, it's quite a way off and it doesn't look too bad. So uh, at least we don't have to worry too much today. <laughs> so we're now in Derwent Lock. Uh, Sorley Lock, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Gates are opening and we're good to go. Well, we've just come out of Derwent Lock. Uh, I keep calling it Derwent Lock. It is Sawley Lock. And we're now on the River Trent, good and proper. Chris, I'm here, holding on to the door. He and escaped. of course, <laughs> being a river, we've obviously got our uh, life jackets yeah, on. Yeah, be safe. To be safe. Smudge, it doesn't like a life jacket. And to be honest with you, Chris has got a firm grip on it, <laughs> so he's not going anywhere. But there you are. And there we are. It's just like being out on the River Severn again. I don't know what the blue can means. I was going to say, what's the blue? And that way is the entrance to the Arrowwash Canal, which we're not doing this time. And then that away is the River Trent out to the coast. But we're going this here way onto the River Saw. takes us back to our old sailing days the dinghy park there and the clubhouse here's the turn we've got to make <laughs> I'm too busy steering. No, you're right, Chris. I'm too busy steering, but I want to video it so our viewers get to see what it's like. So, welcome to the River Saw, guys. This is it. Ian's turn to make the turn now. He's got me videoing, so no pressure, Ian. <laughs> Around he comes. No problem at all. I don't know if you heard that, Chris says, it always appears more scary than it actually is. That's speedy. Now, another thing about river locks is they're not as well maintained as some. I think we could be a while in this one. There is such a maelstrom of water at the front of the boat 
that both boats are now getting a bubble bath. <laughs> well, that's the first time we've had foam up to the portholes in a lot. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, my mate, he's a bubble of foam. There oh, you he's go. In the <laughs> he's all in his shiny scupper and everything. <laughs> Now, we've just realised that this marina, Kegworth Marina, is where we came to get the tunnel lamp for Amy Jo. Long before Amy Jo was built, it was the first item we purchased for Amy Jo, and it was that marina. We're in Kegworth New Lock, and you can tell it's a new lock because they've got these, I call them tie lines, these blue um, rods running down the lock on both sides. The idea is if you're a single boat in the lock, you can put a bow line on one and a stern line on the other and it will slide up as the lock fills. And we've not bothered because with the two boats in here, we can sit comfortably while the lock is filling. It's quite a deep lock, this one. It's uh, seven foot nine. So it's deeper than some of the locks. At the end of a very long day and a fantastic cruise despite the weather threatening to rain we've had a brilliant cruise today we're now in Zouche or Zoch however it's pronounced we've managed to find a beautiful little mooring spot by the Rose and Crown now we had hoped to get a meal in here tonight but we had to pick the one night they're not cooking but never mind it's quite pleasant here and it's just below Zooch Lock, which is way off in the distance there. But this is us for tonight. I'm just taking the man for his evening walk. And then we're done.